Okay. Um, right, going to make a sort of um, beat repeater thing in reason. Uh, a little bit like the one in Ableton. All ones that you get around. But I'm going to make it myself. Um, using a combinator. I'm doing this in Reason 4, but you can do this in Reason 3. Um, I've got a loop here. Oh, hang on. I've got a loop here. Ooh, it's quite quiet. Okay. So that's coming from here, going into here. Um, so in here first I'm going to insert one of these mixers holding shift so it doesn't root um, and from here I'm going to go into here no sorry from here and from here I'm going to go into two uh, delay units just the bog standard uh, for some reason when I tried doing this with one it didn't get a stereo image so if you do it with two and both going into the left um, that seems to get a stereo image I don't know why it just does um, oh incidentally what I've got down here is one I did earlier this is like what it's going to look like when it's finished um, but some of this takes a long time to do and explain so I'm just going to do a basic one and then sort of go back to that one to refer um, later so yeah this will feed back into here and this one too so ah that's a reverb that wasn't what I wanted at all alright Let's do this again, properly. No fucking about. Alright, I've had it. Alright. Tra la la. Okay! So we've got a, just a bog standard echo there. That's not what we want though. Turn these down. Feedback in the dry wet. Turn them both down. Um, now get a matrix pattern sequencer. Flip it round. Put this to bipolar. And put the get the curve and pop it into rotary one. Turn that up. Open this. Okay, so we're going to use this curve to trigger our re-trigger or I'll repeat as it were by um, ducking the volume here whilst at the same time flipping up the feedback and the dry wet on both of these so in here we'll go to channel level one and we want our maximum to be about a hundred um, actually, no, we want the minimum to be 100 and the maximum to be 0. Um, let's just... Okay, so when this goes up, it's effectively doing the trigger. See, it's ducking the volume there. So, Right, and now we need to do the same thing for both delays, but... Um, with the inverted min and maximum values. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so rotary one here is ducking this volume and putting these dry, wet, and feedback parameters up every time this is up. Here, like this. <laughs> Where's it gone?
with okay a little problem there anyway sorted so here's our little repeat You can have them at different values for different rhythmic effects. Six and three are pretty good. Oh, so that was nice. Now, to kind of create the um, the variation that you get in Ableton's beat repeat. This can be achieved by using an LFO to modulate a bunch of patterns which you've preconceived. Um, I'll just do four quick ones here. Um, something like this. And then I can pop an LFO in from somewhere like a subtractor. And then use that to modulate the where are we matrix to modulate the pattern selection you've got to make sure that uh, let's say zero to four um, use a sample and hold synced LFO with about a value of that let's say. Great, not really. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I hope that gives you some idea of what I'm going for. Um, the one I did earlier, which has vanished. Okay, not a problem, I'll just load it here. Um, the one I did earlier has got um, three sets of delay times and these are all wired in series so they just go out of here into that one into that one then back up here um, and each of these matrixes or may try are uh, have all got different patterns they all the three patterns relate to each other um, and this LFO here modulates all of the patterns I think there's about 12 patterns um, and so this is it takes a quite a long time to do especially the patterns because you've, they've all got to kind of relate to each other so you go to pattern one on here pattern one on here pattern one on here and make ones if, if you have like them all on at the same points you're going to get problems so they've got to kind of come on and off at different points um. wrong one here we go Sometimes it does some pretty boring stuff. And then it doesn't. So there you go.